Thank you, Mr. President. Because I know that Hungarian citizens usually listen to these debates, I will start with some words in Hungarian. Az unió az emberi méltóság tiszteletben tartásó, a szabadság, a demokrácia, az egyenlőség, a jogalamiság, valamint az emberi jogok ideértve a kisebbségekhez tartozó személyek jogait tiszteletben tartásának értékein alapul. These words, my friends, dear President, Prime Minister, are the words in our Article 2 of the Treaty on the European Union. The Union is founded upon the values of respect for human dignity, the rule of law, democracy, liberty, equality, fundamental rights, the rights of people coming from minorities. These words are not a bureaucratic invention. These words are not an imposition. These words are the choice of our member states. Hungary, in particular, not only signed these words, Hungary wrote these words with other member states. So the question for our debate here today is, do we take these words seriously or not? In the European Parliament, we take them very seriously. We have done work for over a year on over 500 changes into Hungarian law by the government that touch all cornerstones of democracy. The Parliament, the media, the judiciary, the electoral law, the Supreme Court, the Constitutional Court, Data Protection Authority. The Constitution alone was changed 12 times, then a new Constitution was made, then four changes to this Constitution in one year. Not only the pace and the scope of the changes were unusual, but the general trend is a trend of concentration of power towards the majority and the government. Many international institutions, including EU and Council of Europe, have expressed their, their concerns of this. on this. Of course, democracy is about the rule of majority, but democracy is not majoritarianism, meaning that in a democracy you have to respect separation of powers, independence of the judiciary and fundamental rights. We have had a permanent dialogue with the government of Hungary. We have updated our working documents that we have written with all the political groups, also with the comments by the government of Hungary. And this is also a dialogue that we want to go on after this report is approved. We reach a very important conclusion in this report, that the changes in Hungary have been systemic, that they have a general trend, and this general trend moves away from the values in Article 2. Now, this is a very serious conclusion, and one that needs to be taken seriously by all institutions concerned, by us, by the European Commission, to whom we ask a rule of law mechanism and an Article 2 alarm agenda to deal with this, by the Hungarian government, to whom we address 30 general recommendations for the future, that, of course, they will follow with their own timetable objectives, and in a dialogue, or, or let's say a trilogue with the three institutions. We also ask for an Article 2 trilogue with the, Council of Euro with the European Council or the Council of the EU. Furthermore, we, are, we acknowledge that as a political institution, the European Parliament should be compensated by a non-political body that we could turn to. This we call the Copenhagen High-Level Group in order to ensure the continuity of the Copenhagen criteria. This means that, of course, we are very demanding in the exigencies that we make to candidate countries, but that we have to ensure that we apply the same standards to ourselves. Let me make very clear what this is not about. Europe is a diverse place. It has republics and monarchies, federal and unitary states, unicameral and bicameral. All this is possible within compatibility with the values of democracy in the treaties. We not only respect this diversity, we cherish this diversity. But what concerns us is if these values are compatible or if these changes are compatible or not with our values. These values, the European Parliament has to be here to defend, to, defend, to protect and to respect because Europe is not only a club of democracies, we are also a union of democracy. Thank you very much.